Non-Uniform Moment of Inertia by Poffin Creighty, Ivan Rodriguez Oliveros, and Daniel Cow. Background Research The big picture of this project is to find the moment of inertia of an object with an irregular mass and shape. This experiment is based on the conservation of rotational energy. Introduction the main, the main purpose of this experiment is to investigate if it is possible to identify the moment of inertia of an object by rolling down a ramp and recording the distance time it took to roll down the ramp. The hypothesis for this experiment is if we roll an object down a ramp with it calculating the distance, height, and the amount of rotation that occurred, one can find the moment of inertia. Materials We need a meter stick, foam pad, wooden ramp, circular disc, and Pasco video analyzer. Procedure. You need to gather materials, place the ramp on top of the table, place memory foam or cushioning at the bottom of the ramp, hold the wheel or circular object at the top of the ramp, let it go, allowing the object to roll down the ramp and record all the data. Safety. Standard lab safety procedures. This is the project design. Driving question and scientific principle. Driving question. Can we identify the moment of inertia on the ball rolling down ramp? Scientific principle is the conservation of rotational energy. This is the video of us doing the lab. Calculations. We use the conservation of rotational energy, which is PE, gravity equals KE translational plus KE rotational, to find the moment of inertia. Conclusion. The main purpose of this experiment was to investigate if it was possible to identify the moment of inertia of an object by rolling down a ramp and recording the distance that time took down the ramp. Our results proved that our, our hypothesis was correct, as it was possible to find the moment of inertia of the object. The Real Life Connection Many, auto many automakers need to understand the process of inertia when planning how to lessen the force in crashes. Further applications include gyroscopes and their concepts behind them and how, they use, how they're used in the daily world. For the ELA component, we did a personal narrative. For the social studies component, we did the history of the crash enumerators you see on the highways. Thank you for watching Harmony Public Schools.